do you ever notice that when you play an A, whether it's the low A in the staff or the A with the octave key, that if you add the right hand keys, you kind of can get this cool effect. So that is called venting. And what that means is you're adding a key or more than one key to change the color a little bit of the note. And it might also change the intonation. In this case, it makes it noticeably sharper. Uh, interestingly, in the lower octave, it makes it a little flatter. I could be misremembering this. It's been a long, long, long time. But I have this hazy memory of hearing Michael Brecker do something like this in a recording. Maybe like... Which is only three notes, A, C, and F, but he's doing some venting, which gives it this cool rhythmic effect. Which brings me to today's topic. It is an effect that I believe is called rhythmic venting, or that I call rhythmic venting. I don't know if anyone else does. The idea is it gives you a way to articulate rhythm without tongue in every note. So imagine this lick that I'm attributing to Michael Brecker, if he tongued every note. But if you do the venting, it's kind of cool sounding and easier. I'm going to show you a couple different examples of this rhythmic venting. Before I go any further, I would want to tell you that this musical example we're going to look at today comes from a book of mine of saxophone music called Yuletide Improvisations, which is this fun collection of really creative versions of Christmas and Hanukkah tunes that I've arranged for saxophone. So you can check it out on my website. There's a link in the description below. If you dig it and want to buy a copy for yourself or for a friend, then definitely use the promo code that's also in the description so you can save a couple bucks. Let's look at the top of this page here. All the way towards the right-hand side, uh, we see some X's on those E's and D's, and then on the second line, there's some X's on the A's. Those are the notes that are gonna get venting. I'm gonna play it for you twice. The first time, I'm gonna play it as if those are normal note heads. I'll just tongue them legato. <laughs> Here is the sound of venting. So, how do I do it? It's cool sounding, right? In this case, I can't add my right hand keys because I'm already using those to play E and low D. So I'm adding my low B flat spatula. I'm not doing a full B flat fingering so this key does not go down. But I play an E with that added, and then I play a D with that added, so in slow motion. <laughs> On that A, I did the thing I showed you at the beginning. And now RH could abbreviate Rick Hirsch, but that's not why it's there. It abbreviates right hand. Here's an example from the beginning of the song. The song is called Mao Tzur, which is a Hanukkah song. It's the one on the box of candles, and it normally sounds like this. I've rearranged it as a gentle waltz here. The first phrase doesn't have any venting, but then when we get into the second phrase, you'll see there is some. So let me just play the first few bars here. Let's take a minute and look at the notations there because they tell us what keys to use when we vent. In this first one over the A, we see right hand plus four, five, six. What that means is press down keys four, five, and six. What are those? It is common to just number the saxophone keys with the top hand being one, two, three, the bottom hand being four, five, six. So in this case, I'm adding four, five, and six, just like we looked at at the very beginning of the video. 
The next notation over the D says plus low B flat key, which literally means you're playing that middle D fingering and you are adding the low B flat key the same way we did on the previous example. In slow motion, I'm playing a D and then I'm adding that. That is rhythmic venting in a nutshell. If you're interested in getting into this, definitely check out the book. Three or four of the songs in there use rhythmic venting to one degree or another for kind of a neat effect. I guess that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.